Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Duty's Daggers. We're doing a cut test with the Dark Bolt Designs Arcus. This is a USA designed knife and made by Wee Knives. And, um, yeah, pretty, I think they're pretty new uh, in the knife scene. Uh, they recently sent this to me uh, to check out. And, um, yeah, we're going to see how it cuts. Blade steel is 20 CV and it is hardened to 59 to 61 HRC. Um, it's got a hollow grind, sheep's foot blade with a little belly, nice fat swedge. Let's see how it cuts. Starting with the cardboard here. This particular cardboard is a little soggy. So, yeah, don't worry. It's not the knife. We're going to switch it up here to some better stuff. So it's slicing pretty well, um, but the major, well, I guess not major, but uh, the the issue is it's getting caught in the sharpening choil. Um, there's, you know, there's no choke up spot in that choil, so it's just a sharpening choil, and it's it's a great sharpening choil, excellent. But as far as, um, you know, uh, it's, it, what, I'm, what am I trying to say? It's large and great for sharpening, but the cardboard gets stuck in it. So you have to just make sure that as you're cutting the cardboard, you're staying on the edge and not drifting back there towards the sharpening choil, or it'll get caught and get snagged. And that's a little annoying, but not the end of the world. You can see there, it's, it's a nice sharpening choil, nice and big. Let's do some utility cuts. Nice low tip on this baby and some belly. Very good, just kind of what you'd expect from a sheep's foot blade. By the way, in the intro, if you notice that I'm missing a pocket clip screw, uh, yes, I am in fact missing a pocket clip screw. I was taking this apart to clean it out and lube it up the other day, and I lost a screw. But, surprisingly enough, yesterday I found it again. It was somehow just right there on the ground and I missed it, so I just haven't put it back in yet. Cut up this old leather glove here. This stiff, cold <laughs> glove. Let's roll her on up. The ergos are pretty good on this knife. Um, I'm not noticing any hot spots. Uh, the clip is a milled titanium clip, so there's, you know, it's pretty flat. There's nothing really to cause a hot spot on the clip. And, uh, yeah, pretty comfortable knife. It's doing okay um, with the leather here. It's cutting it fine, but uh, you kind of have to, you know, do a little bit of sawing motion and kind of go back and make sure you got all of it. So it did all right. I think that's because the hollow grind um, is pretty skinny, um, meaning there's a fair amount of just flat full thickness um, blade there before you get to the swedge part. And, um, you know, um, the hollow grind's cool. I think even a full flat grind probably would be better for slicing and this, this kind of thing. Let's go to the Cecil rope. Utilizing that belly on the sheep's foot blade is definitely making things easier here. And it's doing pretty good. Couple times it didn't quite get all the way through, had to go back and get the last couple strands. It did okay, it did fine. How about some rubber tubing? How about some big rubber tubing? Let's 
See, the advantage to watching every cut test video I put out is you get to see a wide variety of knives cut this same piece of rubber tubing. So just because of that prior knowledge you have, seeing all those other knives cut it, you'll be able to kind of see how this knife is doing cutting it. Same with all the other materials I cut. I do the same stuff every video. Let's do the strap. Let's see if we can get all the way through this baby. Nope. A little over halfway through. Let's do it again. And about halfway through. And let's see how our edge has held up. Yeah, we're getting some ripping. It almost doesn't want to bite in initially to the paper. So you're cutting, cutting, and then at the end it just rips. So, uh, not great. Definitely not great. Is it still cutting paper? It's on the verge of not. Um, I don't know. Make up your own mind on that if it's cutting paper or not. But um, let's give it a strop. And by the way, I'm making strops now. Check this baby out. This is a beauty. This is made from walnut wood that I uh, flamed and stained. Um, the leather is uh, veg tan, and it's much wider than my old strop, and it's so nice, man, to have that wider surface area. Um, you can get that full edge on the strop, having it on the strop at all times. Um, really nice, man. I, I freaking love this thing. I'm going to keep this one for myself, but I'm taking orders now. Um, I'm going to make a batch of 10 of these and they're going to be exactly the same as this one here, even with the lanyard on it. And I'm also going to be including some homemade stropping compound with the strop. Um, I make my own compound. I just, I order the, uh, you know, the, the diamond paste or diamond bits and then I add water and, uh, work my magic. And this compound is amazing. It's the best stuff I've tried. Um, I haven't tried like gunny juice and all that stuff, but it works great for me. So the first 10 people that order will get um, the strop and the bottle of compound included with their order. So hit me up on Instagram, or if you don't have Instagram, send me an email. Email's underneath the de in the description. So the stropping uh, definitely got this in nice cutting shape once again. Pretty much how just as strapped as it was when we started. So that's good. Let's do a quick spine whack. And now let's go back to the strap uh, just to see if we can make it all the way through with a freshly stropped edge. And yeah, definitely better. Not all the way through, but uh, you know, significantly farther. So that's nice. And there you go. There you have it. The Dark Bolt Designs Arcus. My overall impression is this is a very fidgety knife. Um, ton of deployment methods, even two closing methods. You have the button and the liner lock. It's a fun knife to play with. Um, and the cutting performance is decent, you know? It did, didn't blow me out of the water. Didn't totally suck either. Um, kind of just, yeah, did totally fine. So there you go. The knife is around 170 bucks, which is on the pricey side for what you're getting, I, I believe. Um, you know, for some people, that'll be absolutely worth it if they really like the design. For others, it won't be. Um, but, you know, there are things this knife does great, like the sharpening choil is done very well. Um, you know, the finishing work is great. It's made by Wee Knives, so you know that's, you know, the fit and finish is going to be good. And there you go. I'll put a link down below. You can go take a look at their website. 
please like the video before you leave. I'll see you soon.